uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to do the uh, video first. You want to start the show with the video? Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Drag Show. I'm Stu Smith. We just looked at a clip from uh, Vice Palace, a Thrill Peddlers pub uh, production that's coming up very soon. Very soon. Again. Mm -hmm. And with me tonight are Joshua DeVore and Steve Fischel. Steve without a V or a PH. Steve Fischel, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So thank you for joining me. Absolutely. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you got coming up with Vice Palace. When it opens, where it is. <clears throat> All that good stuff? Oh, anything All right. you think of. <laughs> well, we are starting Vice Palace again uh, January 27th uh, through March 3rd, Friday and Saturday nights at the Hypnodrome. Uh, you can get information at www.thrillpeddlers.com. And uh, this is our uh, re-release of Vice Palace. We ran it this past summer uh, for, God, forever. Oh, like yeah. four months, months five right. months. Wow. <laughs> And then uh, we took it to New York. We took it to New uh, York in October oh. for a week. Yeah, we performed at the Hell Festival there, as well as the Martin Warman Papers, which was a featured event there at the Lincoln Center okay. Library. <laughs> 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 now, was was that with uh, the whole cast or a big hunk of the cast or? It was, well, over, the, over the course over the course of the week, it was actually um, all the cast ex except for I think there was there were maybe two people that two, weren't there. Yeah, but, two folks that couldn't yeah. make it. Okay. And did you happen to run into any other members of other Thrill Peddlers productions in, in New York? Well, we met Mink Stoll. We sure oh, did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, you, there's a guy that was an original Cock Cat, besides uh -huh. Scrumbly. Uh -huh. um, and I'm drawing a blank. Rumi Musami. Rumi Musami, oh, yes. Oh, yes. We did invited a... us to a wonderful party. Oh, my God, uh, yeah. It was Monday night? It was Monday night. Monday night. It was, we had just gotten yes. there. All the way out in Brooklyn, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it was way out in Brooklyn, in the middle of nowhere, and in typical it's a red lotus room. Right? Yeah, in typical Rumi Musabu fashion, there was no address. Exactly, <laughs> it was just a metal sheet door, and we went and knocked on it and opened it up to this fantastic, fantastic. And yeah, you took? Did you club. take the subway with us? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we actually, carried, we actually a, carried a, a an eight keyboard. octave piano keyboard <laughs> oh with us God. on the subway all the way there, and then carried it up like six blocks uh, of uh, New York streets to. Uh, this and this club. was just a party. This was this not, was just not a, performance. A, it, was, it was a show. We did. Oh, we sang some we songs. Sing, yeah. and, okay. Yeah. Okay. Rumi's quite a guy too. It was fantastic. It was, it was yeah. awesome. So it was great to touch base with him and hang mm -hmm. out with him in New York. You know, especially because you know the Cockats had performed there. 40 years ago, and, and we were coming back to do another show there. You know, I went to the uh, yes. a preview two weeks ago of um, yeah, Benoit's new film, The Children of the, the Cockettes. Children of the Cockettes, yes. And uh, Rumi was there, of course, mm -hmm. and we got to talking again. But uh, his connection did it with Thrill Peddlers, did that come through uh, Scrumbly? That came through Scrumbly. Okay. Yeah. And working with this, it's an ensemble. Mm -hmm. cast i assume uh, you've done three you've been three three yeah these are cockette productions they do much more than that at thrill peddlers uh but the cockette productions that they re re brought to the stage brought to the stage again we started with pearls over shanghai which really ran for a long time 22 months yes. 22 months that's that's amazing and uh actually didn't you also do some, that in new york or did that uh, that was palace. that was actually done in New York. Uh, that was just shortly before my time okay. when they had just started bringing back Pearls over Shanghai. Okay, and then Hot Greeks came along, or was it Vice Palace first? Uh, Hot Greeks came Hot along. Greeks. The revival of that first, and then Vice Palace, and, then and then now Vice we're palace. back to Vice Palace, and then soon to be again Hot, Hot Greeks. Greeks, a full link yeah. Hot Greeks. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow! Very excited. That'll be fun. New songs, uh -huh. new cast members. Wow. It's going to be a really fantastic show. Well, what, are there returning cast members besides mm -hmm. the two of you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most of the Vice Palace cast, okay. with the exception of a few, yes. okay. are in Hot Creeks. So yeah. a little, little bit of rewriting, but not much. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 
that's something to look forward to. Yeah. I, I really loved that production. It was so much fun. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun to be in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can imagine. <laughs> I think everything I've seen by Thrill Peddlers has been fun involved. We are pretty fantastic, I have to say. <laughs> I have to we agree. are quintessential San Francisco theater, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to both be singing, or are you mm -hmm. going to be oh, yes. dancing? Oh, yeah. Not together, in fact. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it now, right now. <laughs> is it, are we doing Vice Palace or Hot Greek? Uh, uh, both. Oh, both? Yeah. both. Uh, okay. In Vice Palace, uh, we do the Flesh Ballet yes. um, at the towards the end of the show, uh -huh. as well as Swami yeah. and a couple of other I've things. I've always got I my think. hands around your thighs in some, some shape form. Yeah, exactly. I'm always over his shoulder. <laughs> and uh, who knows what's going to happen in Hot Greek <laughs> if Vice well, Palace is an indication. Uh, people sometimes wonder, and it's been publicized many times, that there is an occasional nudity in Thera Pleather's production. But tastefully done. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Very tastefully done, I have to say. That's what I've seen has been very tasteful. Thank it's you. been fun. It's actually mm -hmm. been part of the show. Yeah. It's not something for, uh, you know, exploitation. Or, yeah. You know. I think I think we definitely try to, to, to shy away from extreme vulgarity of any well, sort. I've never, to be but honest, to also shock and yeah. thrill and entertain. Well, and, it, and it's nudity that, that is shocking and thrilling, but it also fits. Mm -hmm. It's not just nudity. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. not just nudity for the sake of nudity that's absolutely. thrown in. It always fits, and it enhances the story, and, and definitely enhances the experience. Yeah, it does. It do they? Does. Do you still do the intermission vlogging? Uh, like we did during Pearls Over Shanghai. Yeah. I'd like to bring that back. We would love to have that back, but we need <laughs> hint, Mistress. Hint. Yeah, <laughs> bring that back. But we need Mistress Kara yes. to make that happen, who is our resident mistress, uh -huh. and uh, she uh, was not in Vice Palace, so that was not an option because oh, she is okay. the only one. I think that continue. has the authority to do such a thing. She Although she is now technically uh, uh, much more intertwined in it than she was last. So she's it's true. Uh, she does a lot of our, our costume quick mm -hmm. changes, and she so she uh, whereas she just costumed and was not uh, usually not in the theater during the performances when we did Vice Palace the first time. She'll actually be there in the theater throughout the performance this time. So that's yeah. actually a, I think a, it, it, a it was such a great intermission. Oh, Let's yeah. call her. You know, it was shocking. No, you know. <laughs> it was, it, that shocked me, but uh, yeah. in a great way. It was it like, was fun. and people I would go with wound up on that stage, you know, mm -hmm. finding out what it would be like yeah. to be vlogged. And I think, you know, I think it speaks to what our shows provide, which is it, it allows the audience to, to let go of, of certain inhibitions and see things from a different perspective and to yeah. really enjoy themselves, which is kind of the San Francisco experience that you expect to get when you come see our shows. You know, we want to... To break down that wall yeah, a little bit right, and bring wall. you in. Yeah, yeah. Bring and you, you do it in many ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, costuming and, and choreography and singing and original material, right and left, mm -hmm. you know. And and there's an ability almost to uh, ad lib in some circumstances. I think you know, not necessarily ad lib. Maybe a little, yeah, yeah. but not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you two get involved with Thrill Peddlers? Go ahead. How did you? Oh, well, I uh, I was brought to Thrill Peddlers by Michael Soldier, who you, who does drag here in the city. You may yep. know as Precious, Precious Moments. Moments. I had just finished a show and was kind of three or four weeks off of like no performing at all and was kind of losing it. And he, you know, gave me a call and was like, "Look, I'm in this fantastic show, Pearls Over Shanghai, and they're auditioning for Hot Greeks." And you got to come down here and see Pearls and audition for these guys tomorrow. And I said, well, I don't know. And he said, well, the show starts in 30 minutes and you're on the guest list. So you need to get down here. And I went down and I saw Pearls for the first time. I had no idea what it was um, and was so flabbergasted and completely blown away. I was like, this is where I need to be. This yeah. is my new home. And I auditioned the next day and I lied to them and told them I could sing professionally and you know, the rest is history. And you did and sing professionally. I, and I have now, <laughs> yeah, I certainly have now. Um, so I was cast in Hawk Greeks and then I was originally cast as an understudy in Pearls Over Shanghai and then later went on to have uh, an actual character in Pearls Over Shanghai. And, and Joshua? Uh, well, for me, uh, it was actually kind of interesting. I, I had been off the stage for a solid 10 years. I it was one of these child actor singers and been doing it since I was five and had majored in it. That was my, my, uh, my degree and had sung for Gilbert and Sullivan Opera Company and uh, a couple other major theater companies in the United States and then had just decided to stop at uh, what was 23 and uh, Christmas two years ago uh, just got a wild hair up my ass and decided to call and see if there was anybody in the San Francisco area having a any sort of cattle call audition and I did a search engine and the first theater that came up was Thrill Peddlers at the Hypnodrome so I sent them an email 
So is there any chance you guys are auditioning for anything in the future the next year? And sure enough, Russell sent me an email right back saying, Abs actually, we are. We're looking for a, there's a new musical we've got coming up in the spring, and here's your audition time, and here's the date. Be there. So I put together a monologue and a character piece, showed up, and then that was pretty much it. Uh, back on the stage, and it was really, it was, it was, it was, it was incredible. I, I didn't think that... Uh, that I, well, I didn't know if I would if I would miss it or not, but it had been it, like I said, it had been a decade. So being back up there on the stage again, I'm glad I'm there, and I'm glad I'm doing it again, and it's back in my life. Well, welcome back. Yeah. So um, Vice Palace opens the 27th, I think you said. Yes, okay. this Friday. Yeah. And tickets this Friday. Wow, a couple of days <laughs> from now, tickets are available through Brown Paper Tickets, yes, brown and paper their tickets. website is. Brownpapertickets.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can always show up at the door too. But yeah. the, the likelihood of it selling out is pretty good this time because we're only doing twelve performances. Right. Yeah. So it's. And know. I've been to shows at Thrill Peddlers where people have taken that chance and been turned away. Exactly. Oh yeah. You know. We we uh, we, we hate, hate to regrettably <laughs> have to turn people away. Yeah. No. Uh, what a luxury problem. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. It is a luxury problem for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, when we ran uh, Hot Greeks last year or in spring of two thousand ten. Um, that show sold out the first week, first or second week, I think. And so I expect that this run of Ice Palace will do that, and most likely the next run of Hot Greeks will probably do yeah, that as I well. Yeah, I think so. so. I mean, they gotta both act been... fast, folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very much. please do. You're gonna you'll Go miss now. something if you don't see first Vice Palace, second Hot Greeks. Let's take a look at some of those pictures if you've got them ready, um, and you'll explain us what mm -hmm. they are. That is so this is, a, this is a scene from Caligula, which is uh, the ending of, of Act One. And oh, it's yes. myself and uh, my twin, who's played by Steven Satirica, and my character Riccolini and his Nicolini uh, at the foot of... Um, Our fearless leader, yes, Russell exactly. Blackwood, <laughs> <laughs> who is the producer and director of, of our shows at the Hypnodrome. And a very imaginative character. Yes. yes. Strong personality, wonderful. Very, yes. The illustrious Lee Crow. Uh, from the Wonellies here on our our, uh, our ad advertisements for Vice Palace, and that's the poster, current poster. That is the yes. current poster. That is she's uh, Davina. She's the the lead yeah. of the show. Um, when this was originally done in the seventies in Vi uh, Vice Palace, uh, it was played by Divine, um, and. Oh, to be there. Oh, to yeah. be there. Yeah. I have actually listened to their rehearsals um, oh at Scrumbly's house because he's recordings of them, and uh, they are. Uh, they are quite ridiculous and quite amazing. Um, oh, that must be amazing yeah. to just have that chance. For sure. Lee definitely gets it. There's Lee. Lee, and that's Tony Wachowski. Tony Wachowski. Okay. And uh, Tony is Federico, uh, a filmmaker friend of Davina's. So basically the premise for Vice Palace is that uh, the, there is the Red Death outside of Davina's villa, and she has invited all of her fantastic, beautiful friends uh, to her villa, and she's locked them inside, and uh, so they are entertaining each other, and that's basically what Vice Palace is: is you're seeing the performances and shows that they're giving to each other as the Red Death approaches. Right, the Red Death being a plague. A plague, right. yes. Yeah. And uh, they are prisoners, aren't they? We sure are, yeah. but we're some good-looking prisoners. Oh yeah. Oh dang <laughs> right, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me. That's Steve yes. Fischel. Sure. Yeah. And there's Joshua and DeVore. <laughs> That's me as Swami Hot Pastrami. In the um, green room. In the green room, yeah. Uh, each room of uh, Davina's uh, villa has a different colored uh, themed room. And uh, we're in the green room there. I'm Swami Hot Pastrami. Wonderful. Hanging out with the boys. There's Joshua again. <laughs> Joshua again. Yes, and uh, now this uh, the the woman to uh, Tony Wachowski's left is uh, Laura LeBleu. She was in the original. Um, her character is actually not coming back. Hers is one of the yeah. ones that won't be there. Uh, and um, so we've kind of merged her character into another one that was our, that was in the show. And um, in so, true thorough peddler's fashion, exactly <laughs> to become one. So yeah, it's uh, she's the the woman that both myself and uh, my twin are, are always running around with. We're kind of her her love slaves, I guess. Is mm -hmm. And to the far far left is Elron Hubby. Hubby. Uh -huh. And if you're at all familiar with any sort of San Francisco drag, you know Elron. She's Absolutely. in every show. Mm -hmm. 
every performance all over the city. She works with everyone, and she's just a fantastic master of disguise. And into the yeah, far she really right, is. Uh, Tina Soliuzzo, and what's what's her Ruby uh, Vixen? Thank you, Ruby Vixen. <laughs> also very very. Uh, I called her before the show and asked her. She'll love that. Quite the lady about town. Yeah. A fantastic burlesque performer. Yes, yes. Myself again is Swami Hot Pastrami, and I think the boys are doing coke behind me on a mere table, but my turban, you cannot see uh-huh. that. <laughs> Clearly, I'm blocking it for the children out there watching. Yes. <laughs> PG reading. PG, for yeah. For five seconds. That's, yeah. uh, that's from the Flesh Ballet. Uh, there's Josh to the upper left and Steven Satyrkon to the upper right. Um, that's obviously me at the lower left. With a woman. With a woman. Kissing <laughs> oh a woman. My, God. my theater twin, Bonnie Suval. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and this is kind of in the, the transitional portion of our dance before things kind of start getting really crazy. But we are nude, um, all with the exception of Bonnie there. All the boys are got their willies out. Yeah. And uh, it's quite a fantastic uh, dance number that is just, ugh, it's, it's just, it's it amazing. Yeah. It's just, it's really amazing to do. Um, as well as to see. So that's that. That's great. Yeah, Miss there. Ruby Vixen, Tina. Yes. yes. Um, in the yellow You're in this room. one. Yeah, tell, uh-huh. tell them about this one. Oh, this, this is kind of fun. This is uh, kind of a two-part where she comes out and does her, her veil dance and her uh, does a belly dance number and really kind of takes possession of the stage and uh, it turns into uh, almost kind of a, a Vegas act with a topless dancer and... Um, <laughs> Uh, a real strip tease, and then there's myself and Steven, and we kind of continue the yellow theme and uh, do a, a kind of an Arabian themed camel song, and um, which ends up uh, with the two of us uh, <laughs> on top of each other. <laughs> Becoming Thank very on friendly. Stage. Yes, yes, very friendly. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and that is Scrumbly Cold One to the left, and Russell Blackwood, uh, Russell Blackwood there mm-hmm. to the right. That's a great photo. Yeah, really I love that. Photo, photo. Yeah, it's a really good. Uh, Scrumbly photo. was original cockhead um, and original uh, music director. Yeah. yeah, and composer and songwriter mm. and singer, performer, pianist. I mean, he does a lot of everything. And still composes. I mean, he, oh, he I wrote know. the music, the mm. the original music for the show that we just closed in in October. The the uh, that's I mean, right. November, the um, excuse me, uh, Shocktoberfest. In Shocktoberfest, yeah. he did. He, he wrote sing. some sing things for that. Fear over Frisco. Mm-hmm. He yes. added things to Vice Palace for our run of Vice Palace. The Swami Hot Pastrami song, for example, didn't exist before. Okay. He wrote that. And, uh, uh, There's an addendum to one of the songs in it that, that will be featured in the yeah. we're about to do that nobody here, people in New York have heard uh, yeah. the song Taste in Act 2. Uh, the, the New York show oh, that's right. yeah. got to feature that and premiere that, but we'll actually be bringing that back and adding that to the show and the revival when we open in three days. Yeah. So he's always, I mean, and, and in Hot Greeks, even the, the fuller long run version that we're about to do this year, um, he's writing songs for that as we speak. Yes. Um, he's always coming up with new stuff and trying to keep things fresh for us. Hey, what, it's really great. Midnight Over Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Is that, what was that in? Was that in... That was uh, Vice Palace or that? Heartbreaks or Oh Lord! I know it was a uh, Vice Palace, but was it originally? But that's an was older song, of his, I, isn't it? Yeah, it is an older song. Um, it's one that he had a hand in. I'm not 100 percent sure how okay. that works. We'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, um, but I, know I believe it was in the original Vice Palace. I think so too. Yeah, um, because he uh, he has talked about it, uh, and it, it's a gorgeous. It's oh, a great it is. Piece. It's wonderful. Which um, and Russell, of course. Uh, how did Russell get involved with Real Feathers? Um, the way I understand it is that uh, Pam, aka Sweet Pam of the Cockettes, had seen a Thrill Peddler show and went to Scrumbley and the other Cockettes and said, you know, this is where we need to be if, if this is going to happen. And somehow they came together through that. That's the way I understand it. I could be a little bit off on that. but So that story um, about the hot air balloon is not really yes, true? Yes, the story I told you about <laughs> oh Russell Bean and the hot air balloon God. that popped and landed on the top of Scrumbly's house is not true. I, I just can't up. believe it. And you're, so you're not the bastard child of those two people? <laughs> I kind of am, but just okay, not the way okay. I told you. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, as long yeah. as it wasn't a lie. It wasn't, not not a total lie. <laughs> Steve Fischel doesn't always lie. <laughs> I've never heard of lie. I've heard him use his creative well, power. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you're going to be, you're both going to be in Hot Greeks, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This will actually be my first drag performance, too. Yeah, uh, right. and be a girl, which so, I just found out before this show, because I told them not to tell me <laughs> <laughs> So when is that going to open? 
That is going to open March, March 22nd, 22nd through okay. May 5th. And uh, it's going to be a full-length show. So if you'd saw, if you'd seen uh, Hot Greeks before, in our first revi- uh, first revival of it, it's going to be a little bit longer now and a little bit completely different. I think. Okay, that sounds good. I I, I really loved it. Mm-hmm. I've, I've loved everything I've seen, by including Shocktoberfest and other things. Uh, tell me a little bit about you as a regular human guy it's not a I'm regular saying. human guy uh, I'm, I'm a very complicated uh, regular human guy I do several things I volunteer at the aquarium of the bay uh-huh. I'm a diver there and a water quality technician and I'll be soon starting in husbandry there working with a lot of the fish and the animals um, I'm also a licensed cosmetologist and makeup artist um, I, I trained with Deborah Dietrich who um, was the, the the lead makeup uh, for the Harvey Milk film and it was shot here in San Francisco and she taught me makeup and also taught me a lot of the things that I learned at the Paul Mitchell Institute here in San Francisco. So I do hair. I'm a concierge hairstylist right now, but I'm about to sign a contract with a local salon. But I'm not going to release their name until it's actually <laughs> done and sealed and signed. Hang on, uh, folks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of so I do that and I'm, I perform with these guys. I work at Mr. S. Leather and help out there. And I'm also part of a group called Core that you may have heard of that does uh, the body hook suspensions. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, out of Oakland. And uh, we've got uh, groups in L.A., we've got groups in Houston. Uh, I believe that we're being hired, I think the L.A. troupe is being hired to do some of the um, entertainment, on-stage entertainment for the, um, I want to say, the Motley Crue show that's going to be in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of that's things. Amazing. Very that's busy. Very busy, <laughs> yeah. And you, Steve? Well, let's see. Aside from performing at the Hypnodrome on a regular basis, uh, I work at the California Academy of Sciences. Mm -hmm. I'm the mascot there. I play Claude the Albino Alligator. So if you ever come to the California Academy of Sciences on the weekends or over the holidays or anything like that, I am in a six and a half foot tall alligator mascot costume waving at children and (laughs) getting my picture taken and my tail pulled. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, I do that and I I perform and, and that's pretty much all I, you know. That's a lot. That's a lot, no. (laughs) Yeah, we're both busy, busy boys. Well, we're starting to wind down on our time. Uh, Have you either of you got something you'd like to shoot out to the audience? Uh, Come to the show. Come to the show. What camera are we looking at? That's terrific. Come Come to to the the show. show. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's a it's a it's a real San Francisco treat. You will not be disappointed. You'll be blown away, and you will find yourself coming back again and again. And it's it's worth every dollar. It's fantastic. Thank you, Steve Michelle. Joshua DeVore and Vice Palace. Thank you, folks. Thanks, Stu. All right. right. Very good. You guys didn't get through all your pictures. Excellent. Oh, we didn't? Oh, God. Oh, good. I'm glad we didn't miss that. I'm glad we missed that. (laughs) You don't want that one? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you know, that was actually the last one, so you did get through all that. Was there a nudie of me? Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think we even got to see your butt. Oh, yeah, we saw your butt cheeks, or at least a.